Hello kiddos, welcome back to Insane Body Science. I hope you all have watched the first video that Miss Carmen put out, which was all about your sugars. And we talked about the cells, but if you hadn't, if you've not seen that particular video, let's back up and I'm gonna actually teach you about Bob again. Because the more you hear about Bob and your cells, Here's an example of your cells. The more you hear about yourself, imagine this is you. The more you hear about your cells and how to take care of them, that's what's gonna get you super healthy. And I know all of you kids wanna have a lot of fun. So the main goal is, how do we eat right to have lots of fun, stay healthy, and grow up to be big and strong and super successful? So that's what the goal is today. And we're gonna share fats. So I think there's this myth going around the world that, oh, um, if you eat a lot of fat, then you're gonna get fat. Well, guess what? That's really not the truth. You do need fats because, I'll explain to you, remember how we talked about this is an example of a cell and every organ in your body is made up of cells, right? You have stomach cells, you have brain cells, you have lung cells, you have heart cells, the blood that courses through your veins, you have blood cells, you have kidney cells, pancreas cells, everything, bone, skin, everything is made up of cells, right? And so we're now starting to understand that your cells are super important. Well, the cool thing about a cell is, now this is a bouncy ball, I grant you that. You all figured out it was a bouncy ball with little colored beads inside. But this ball represents your cells and every cell in your body has a double layer of fat. It's got two rings of fat around the outside that keep all the nutrients in. So, if you think you're made up of trillions of cells, and every cell needs good fats, then don't you think that having good fats in your diet is important? Yes, they are. So you might ask Miss Carmen, well, where do we get good fats from? If you look over at this slide, the place that you get good fats are from lean meats, from nice organic dairy products. You can get it from several nuts. Um, avocados have a lot of good fat in them. So again, it's gonna be fat that comes from the earth are the kinds of fats that you want. Cattle that roam the earth, chicken and eggs that are you know of the earth. The fats that we want to avoid are the partially hydrogenated fats, the trans fats. They're the fats in all of our boxed, bottled, and packaged goods. Okay, so you're like, well, Miss Carmen, what's the big deal? Here's the big deal about fats. Okay, remember last time when I explained to you about sugars, okay, you've got your cell and it's, and it's got the, its little antennas out and it's looking for nutrition. And remember what we said about sugar. Sugar is gonna block the end of the receptor and now your cells can't get in all the proper nutrients that they need, right? So the Play-Doh is a really great example and if you think about your cell, remember the cell is made up of good fats but you know what? Good fats happen to like bad fats. And that's kind of one of those things in our body that's the insane body science. You mean the good likes the bad? Well, they do. And so you know what? The bad fat comes in, ha, 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 I'm gonna surround you, little cell. And it surrounds your cell. And you know what? Now guess what? Now the straw can't get stuff in from this way. Last time we clogged the cell on this end. And now when we're putting bad fats in the body, the fats are clinging to the good fats and then your poor cell is all congested and it can't let good nutrition in. And the other thing is, is there's all kind of fun little activities going on inside your cell. And I can equate it to a campfire. For instance, if you are building a fire, what's the byproduct of a, of a fire? It's that white billowy smoke, right? And so there's all kind of little campfires or little energy sessions going on inside your cells. Your cells are bouncing around and sometimes they produce waste. Well, you know what? If your cell is all goopy, glopped up, clog clogged up in all the fats that come out of these packaged, well, that doesn't have fat in it, but all the packaged processed foods that have bad fats in there, then your cells aren't gonna be healthy. So that's the key to eating the good fat. So I would again remind you to go back and try to eat the good lean meats. The, when your mom fixed you scrambled eggs for breakfast, gobble them up. You wanna be the fastest kid on the soccer field. You wanna be the smartest one to get the answer when your teacher has, has a pop quiz. You want to be smart and happy and healthy. And the way you do that is by building healthy cells. So let's peel away that layer of bad fat. Let's get back to our good cells and let's feed our good cells the right stuff and that's how you have a healthy body. So thanks for joining Insane Body Science and stay tuned for 
something very interesting that we're going to talk about, which are all the colorful dyes and chemicals. They're called toxins, and they're called toxins for a reason. So come back next time and check out toxins and learn a little bit more. Share with your parents and have a great day.